Okay. Now the battle. Now the final battle will commence. I think we always knew this was going to happen. Yes, we did. I figured this out. When they came up in separate brackets, the Star Destroyer and its its nemesis, as it were. And the only variable now is the battlefield. Has this question been answered in the book? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, I don't think so. Now is the, is the Mon Call Rami Defender, how f you said it's 25 years after Endor? Yeah, that's when the Have there been one. any. Oh, yeah, that's when the. The first one actually was. Uh, theoretically, the Star Defender would have a slight te technological edge. Over and, and, and as much as Star Wars doesn't have much technological advancement. <laughs> yeah. 20,000 years much <laughs> They still don't have transporters or meal replicators or even holodecks for that matter. I mean, come on. Go. They've got fresh air stuff. Yeah. They don't have paper. <laughs> they do have lightsabers. And stuff. Okay. Do you have a train? Yeah, what's that? Yeah. Okay, let's get the train. Maybe we can have a randomizer cut the deck with them. It is weighted heavily for asteroid fields and voids. So we'll <laughs> see. Let's see if we get something interesting. I'm looking for the battle above, well, in re battle in reverse space <laughs> during a super. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like should we just pick a card? Yes, so. <laughs> All right. That would be fitting. Pick a card. And the battle is. The Matara Nebula! <laughs> Matara Nebula! Their shields will be useless! So that might have played out a lot better if it were the Defiant and the Super Star Wars and a Nebula. A lot of their electronics and scanning systems will also be useless. Yes. Yeah, this is where so Jack's going to be relying on pure fire. He's got the compass. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> well, tactical ability in that kind of situation. Yes. In which case, the okay. Dama's totally gone. And then the only big difference is really is the executor has more concussion missiles and the tractor beams. And are those going to hold a ship of equal size? Probably not. Mm -hmm. But the Mon Call Star Defender was designed specifically to destroy Super Star Destroyer. But could that overcome Ozzel? To destroy yeah. them, not necessarily or to destroy them. Advantage. Yes, they're yeah. to compete with them. To they're, compete with yeah, them. Yeah, that's their version. Mm -hmm. Competitive. And it is 25 years more advanced, but again, that's like they've got, uh, who knows? <laughs> well, they've <laughs> they got don't much. They they've have much. They've got the rushing instead of light bulbs. The regenerating <laughs> shields. Yeah. But, you know, you would have negated that with the nebula. Mm -hmm. Are there any statistics that you have in your book there, Mr. Tomasello, that would uh, really give us any pointers specific? Give you the, again, the firepower is about equal. They're right. He did say that the, de the defender had a uh, better armor because of the uh, it, the armor thicker because it didn't have a fighter complement, which does yep. come into effect. But they're not a, a maneuverable enough where the mon collar star defender could sneak up behind the super star destroyer no, this and shoot out one of its nacelles like uh, Enterprise and Reliant. You're only talking like a five kilometer size <laughs> difference. <laughs> The Defender is, a, is the smaller ship, but it's more heavily ar armored. But the, the and targeting would definitely be an issue. How about its firepower? We, we're thinking firepower is equal. It might be more compact, more heavily armored. Sensors can play a role. They're equal in uh, their laser and ion cannons. Again, the Superstar Star has more concussion missile batteries. But, like I said, the Mon Cal Star Defender is more heavily armored. Would the fact that it's 1.15 in the morning affect the two admirals involved? Let's pay my shot here, everybody. Well, I thought the person that the Mon Cal would, would win when you put a dominant in the executive, I think that plays a lot in it. I would say would if, awesome. the, if, if we were looking at just ships, the Mon Cal would probably win. Mm -hmm. Now, would Ozzel know 
the weaknesses of it. Since you know he's an imperial officer who commanded the ship. Right, so he would at least know pretty well his you know, where the ship's fighting. Yes. Yeah, where to point it. <laughs> he never read the name. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously didn't know how to drive the ship so well, or at yeah. least uh, an issue about. Uh, He's good at destroying it. Yeah, that's right. Oslo would know the, where the problem is with, <laughs> with the executor. Wow. It's a tough one. This one is. We're almost counterbalancing. Is, the, uh, they're both battleship carriers with the wrinkle of not having <coughs> not having fighter fleets available to them, and Obama does face that situation frequently. Yep. Whereas Oswald you know, would want to rely on his fighter support. Yeah. Would presumably not have a book, a, a write up in the playbook for, you know, hey, what but if even, you don't have any support? Even if we threw him in at this point, you still got the different, well, I don't know what the nebula would do to it, but the Imperial ships don't have any shields, whereas the rebels do. The rebel ships are right. usually have more heavy well, arms. Super Star Destroyer sure does. Well, well yeah, but so so for a second, if you were to consider fighters. the fighters, yeah. the Imperial fighters don't have shields. No, no, no. The we're not, yeah, but we're not. Yeah. Yeah. So that fighters kind of, are the factor. In this. That would kind of negate that argument too. But we, yeah, we're not dealing with fighters at all. Just the two ships. I thought the. Uh, well, are we to the point where we're going to put it to a vote? Yeah, there are no Sith lords on the executor. <laughs> so I was okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you know, if, is Darth Vader a standard complement of the executive? Uh, it's it was Vader. his ship. Yes, what? it was his ship. Was he in command of the ship? Was he the captain? He was. No. I think he's no, not. Yeah, he's, 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 he's not part of the uh, Imperial Army. He's not. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. He's more in charge of like VIP. What he would, is. We, yeah. would we say that he, and we haven't even talked about this before, is he standard complement on the ship? Probably not. He's outside. That would be a panel vote, probably. Yeah, I would say he would be. 